In this video I want to cover a really popular error that people are doing in any framework, which is a circular dependency. And actually you can get this problem at any language and at any framework. And we are not talking here only about JavaScript, but even in JavaScript, in plain JavaScript, in any framework where you have modules, you can also get such error. Let's have a look on the example. As you can see inside my source, I have main.js6 with an import of hello and world from API. And as you can see, we are calling hello as a function and word as a function. And this is how my structure looks like. Inside our API index.ts, we are exporting everything from foo and from bar. So this is this index.ts where we are exporting just function world and here we are exporting function hello. This is totally fine, there are no problems here. But let's have a look on our bar. The main problem here is that bar imports a function word and uses it inside hello function. And it would work, but inside our foo, we're importing bar inside and we're using this hello function from there, which essentially means this bar module imports world from foo and foo imports hello from bar. So this is exactly a circular dependency. We have dependencies in a circle, they're importing one another. And actually a lot of beginners are not even aware that this is a problem and you will get an error. And essentially if you run this code in the browser, you will get maximum call stack size exceeded. This is exactly the circular dependency. In some framework, it might show you a warning that you are getting a circular dependency. So for example, if you are writing your React code and you are importing your components in one another, it will lead to a circular dependency. If inside Angular you have two services which are importing one another, it will also be a circular dependency. And sometimes it can be quite tricky to debug such problem when you have lots of imports on lots of level and then you are just magically getting circular dependency. This is why you must plan correctly the whole structure of your project so you are aware of these limitations. Because this is essentially the limitation of imports or modules by default, this is how they are working. And as I already said, you have this limitation everywhere. So we are prepared for it. So let's say that we're implementing here register feature and login feature. And it doesn't really matter what framework or language you are using. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just wanted to let you know that only 20% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to the channel. If you really want to continue getting videos and support my channel, consider subscribing. It helps a lot. Now let's jump back into the video. And directly from the start, what you cannot do, you can't import this register module inside login and login inside register. This will lead directly to a circular dependency. But you might think, okay, I need some utils for my register. So I will create utils.js. This is totally fine. You are using them just inside register because it is nested. But then at some point you decide, okay, but I really need these utils inside my login. Maybe I should not just copy paste them, I can just import them. And now what you are doing, you are importing your utils from register. This is the first sign of your bad architecture. Why is that? Because essentially each feature must be fully isolated and minimally use something from the outside. If you are trying to use some stuff from another feature, this is a sign that you are doing it wrong and sooner than later you will get the circular dependency. Even if you won't get, this code is more difficult to support because now you are relying completely on the utilities of register. And if inside register later you update your utilities, they might not fit your login. This is why a much better idea would be to move these utils outside of register and login, just create them here or maybe create some shared feature where inside you will have utilities and then both register can import utils from shared as well as login which uses utils from shared. The main point is this will never lead to the circular dependency and this is one of the solutions to this problem because they are both using shared but shared is not using register and login. And obviously people can break it again if inside shared you will try to import either login and register then you will get this circular dependency again because shared should be completely isolated. This is why when we are talking about some utilities 
helpers or services, they must always be decoupled and isolated when they are shareable. They should not have lots of different dependencies of other features. This is again bad architecture. So if you are doing Angular and you are creating some user's service, it should be completely isolated. It should not use login and register. If you are inside React and you are creating your user's component, again, it should not use features like login and register. It is an isolated component without any additional dependencies. Sure, if your users need utils from shared, this is completely fine. You can just import them and it will work. Because here you don't have a circle of dependencies, your utils never imports inside your users. So again, the best solution to circular dependency problem to prepare a nice folder structure for your features and make sure that you are not importing some things randomly just because it is convenient at this moment. And actually, if you're interested to know how to implement a good folder structure, make sure to check this video because I already covered it there.